In this short video, I will be talking about and giving you a high level overview of trackers. And I do not mean trackers like that guy that you see on TV with the Farrah Fawcett hairdo. I mean those things that you hide in your car in case it ever gets stolen or that you slip into a loved one's purse for her safety. And the reason that I am making this video about trackers is because I get a lot of comments asking me and people sending me emails asking me why I never blink and why are you such an asshole? So in response to those comments and emails, I am going to show you three different types of location trackers. I will explain the principle that makes them work, and I will go over some of the pros and cons of the different types of location trackers, which you can choose from, all so that you can decide which type of location tracker best fits your location tracking lifestyle. And unlike all those other YouTubers, I will do this all without boring you to death and more importantly, without begging you to subscribe or click the like button because I am not like all those other YouTubers. Before me, I have three location tracking devices. And as you can also see, each one looks quite different from the other. And just to be clear, the manufacturers of these tracking devices did not send these to me for free. I am not a paid shill for any of these companies. These were all paid for at full price, mostly with money from my supporting channel members. Those are the YouTube viewers just like you that clicked the join button or thanks button while watching one of my videos. First, we have the Invoxia, Invoxia GPS tracker, which costs $129. And that price includes a one year subscription to the service required for it to work. I will talk more about that service momentarily. Next, we have the Land Air C54 GPS tracker, which costs $30, and that does not include the cost for the service that it needs to work. I will talk more about that momentarily. And finally, we have the Apple AirTag, which also costs about $30, and it works very different from how these other two work. And I will talk more about that in a minute. For your convenience and clicking pleasure, I have placed affiliate links to all of these items in the more information section of the video below so that you can read more details about them or purchase one for yourself. All three of these location trackers have apps that will display their location on a map for the Land Air C54 you have to download and install the Silver Cloud app. For the Invoxia tracker, you have to download and install the Invoxia tracking app. And for the AirTag, every iPhone, iPad, and iMac already has the Find My app, which is how you view its location built in to every phone, iMac, or iPad. So there's no need to download or install anything. And it is also probably important to mention that to set up and use an AirTag, you need an iPhone, iPad, or Mac computer. Most other GPS trackers can be set up on Windows, Mac, iPhone, or Android. These two location trackers work by geolocating themselves and then transmitting their location via the cell phone data network back to its respective app on your phone. So in order for this type of location tracker to work, they need a connection to the cell phone data network. Basically, these need cell phone service, which, as you have probably surmised, is not free. That is why this one costs $130, because that price includes one year of that cell phone data service. This one only costs $30, but you then have to pay for that cell phone service, which will cost you around 100 more dollars per year. 
And because both of these devices require connectivity to a cell phone data service, this also means that the devices must be in an area with cell phone service, which is most of the United States, however, not in a lot of places like in the middle of the desert or up in the mountains. So if someone steals your car with one of these two location trackers in it, and they drive the car to the middle of nowhere in the desert where there is no cell service, both of these devices will stop sending their location as soon as they lose cell phone service. The AirTag, however, works very, very differently. The AirTag does not require any cell phone service. Instead, the AirTag is constantly sending a very low power signal out to any of the over one billion iPhones in use on the planet that may be nearby. Those iPhones will then send the location information via its Wi-Fi or cellular data connection up to the Apple servers so that you can then view the location of the AirTag on the app on your phone or iPad or Mac. For this to work, the AirTag must be within about 800 feet of any iPhone. So for example, if your AirTag is in your car at the parking lot of Ronald McDonald's, there are probably 100 iPhones within 800 feet of it. And every one of those iPhones will automatically, without the owner doing anything, they are all automatically sending the location of your AirTag out to Apple's servers. It is all automatic. You do not have to do anything. The iPhone owner does not have to do anything. It just works. If someone steals your car and drives it out to the middle of the desert where there is no Wi-Fi or cell phone service, all the AirTag needs is for one person with an iPhone to get within 800 feet or so of the AirTag, and that iPhone will record the AirTag's location even if there is no cell phone or Wi-Fi service. Then once that iPhone gets back into town where there is cell phone service or Wi-Fi, that iPhone will automatically send that location of your AirTag that it recorded back to the Apple servers so that you can see its last known location on your map. Another difference between these trackers, which if you have been watching closely, you may have noticed, is that they all look very different. The Land Air C54 is rather thick and heavy, and that is because it is intended to be more of a vehicle or large asset tracker. That is why it has this big magnet on the bottom. The entire bottom is magnetic so that you can stick it onto any metal part of your car. And it also looks like a tracker, or at least it looks like something suspicious if someone were to find it. The Invoxia, Invoxia is smaller, and it does not really look like a tracker. It looks more like a memory stick or some kind of computer part. So you could casually toss this in the glove box or center console of your car, and it would not look very suspicious. The very stylish and sexy hand strap is what really sets this one apart from all of the other trackers. The AirTag, as you can see, is much smaller than the other two, making it very easy to hide. This also makes it great for attaching it to your car keys, putting it in your backpack, strapping it to your bicycle, or putting it on any of the other small things that you value so dearly. All three of these location trackers run on batteries. The GPS trackers have rechargeable batteries that last a few weeks or so, depending on how you configure them. And both can easily be plugged into a power source in your car so that they always stay charged. The AirTag has a small, easy to replace battery that lasts about a year. And all of them will let you know in their respective app when the battery starts to get low. And finally, and most importantly, what if someone puts one of these in your car or purse without your knowledge? What if someone is tracking you? At the beginning of this video, I promised you that this video would be short. And I am a boy of my word. So for the answer to that question, you will have to wait until my next video.